Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Kenji. My name is Liam with Small Time Gamers, and after the eventful episode um, last time, we're going to try and get our guys back to our new guys here, our second squad, um, back to base, unharmed if possible. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is, no matter the cost here, I'm going to get everyone healed up 100%. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take them over to... And I hope there are beds in here somewhere. Glitching out a bit there, buddy. Uh, we're going to take them over to beds, which should be... Hopefully in this town. No. Let's try and send them indoors somewhere to uh, open up all the signage. Um, the trade, trade beds. Here we go. So we'll send our group inside here, and they will get we'll get them all healed up. Because that is my primary concern right now. Well, that and not having them die. And I'm fine paying a hundred per citizen. Well, per person, there's only three of them, so... Paying a hundred each is not really that much of a problem. So as soon as they are all fully healed up, we'll be good to go. And Ni here, with her stolen radar armor, or her stolen guard armor here. I don't know why she's not wearing them. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, there's that. That is the guard that we actually stole it off. Oops. <laughs> Jess, I'm going to go get her to wait by the door. Uh, nothing else really interesting here at all. So we'll get her to stand by the gate. And then hopefully when these guys are good he's good he can get up and join her and she is also good you can head out there too see the only thing I am really worried about is uh, running into a group of bandits on the way here because this small contingent uh, aren't really going to do too well uh, against a group of bandits, if it comes to that. All the police running about. And Lucy is almost good to go. Now the only thing I can think of doing, which might help our chances slightly, is we're going to go and get some better weaponry for these guys. So she's pretty good. He's pretty good too. She needs a better sword. She has some pretty boss armor, but your sword unfortunately is not up to scratch. Um, so we're going to spend a little bit of our money just on getting these guys uh... well equipped she's fine on weapons but she might do a little bit she might uh... be helped by a little bit of armor so i'll send her up to get some armor first things first we're gonna work on getting the sword or swords depending on how we choose to armor this girl up
head over to the vendor and let's see Extended katana variants, increased reach and damage. Hmm. I'm thinking that, honestly. That looks pretty cool. How much is that going to cost us? Yeah, sure, we'll do that. And that can go down into there. Give her a bit more of a boss weapon. Hopefully she'll be slightly better in combat now. We'll just sell those old trousers as well. Get rid of them. Send her back over to the gate. And you know what? We're going to try and send our group out now actually because um, scratch the armor and that because uh, there is another group uh, actually already started to head out and if we could piggyback with these guys for as long as possible that might provide us a little bit more protection so we're going to use this um, to our advantage and I want them to get there as soon as possible because they're probably not going to be able to run, so we're going to have problems catching up with these guys. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And we're going to send him out. So, this is going to be a journey and a half. Trying to get them back to base safely is probably not going to be easy. Did they just lose another... Um... Huh. That's interesting. Um... Yes, so getting them back all in one safe is probably going to be a bit of a tough ask. But we are going to try anyway. <sighs> okay, so basically I'm going to cut away at this point and... Um, See that there's a group of bandits up there, but hopefully we should be safe from them. Uh, I'm going to cut away at this point and cut back uh, if anything exciting happens. So, see you then. Now, we haven't travelled that far, but I did run into a problem of the, the main group here leaving her behind, because she is a bit uh, slower. So I'm just going to set them to follow, uh, to follow her. And hopefully they will at that point keep pace uh, instead of running off by themselves. But yes, like I said before, I will cut back if anything interesting happens, and I'll keep you guys in the loop. A quick cut back, just to give a little update. So yeah, the plan of making them follow her is actually working quite well. It means they're, they're keeping pace with it. So, um, I knew, I, I did just found that out then, I didn't actually know that, that would work as well as it did. Um, so a tip for you guys, if you are trying to move a group of people, uh, select all of them and just make them follow the f slowest member. That way you only have to give move orders to one character, which makes it a lot simpler. And two, they keep pace with that low, uh, slowest member, so if you get in a fight, um, you might be able to survive, depending on who you are fighting. Um, but yes, so my basic idea at the moment is to head up through Trader's Edge here, which is a town we have visited before, just up here. And from there, we are going to head down, down Brink, and into A Wish for Peace, going that way. Um, hopefully, this should go well. Hopefully. No guarantees. Um, and then, when we get back, so we'll take a look at my research at the moment. We've actually finished a lot of the uh, research that I was going to do. Um, so... 
what we're going to do from there is uh, we finished large houses, so I believe we're just going to start uh, making up our like civilian area. Um, and just keep working on there, continue to level up our walls, that is my main concern, just trying to get uh, a slightly more defensible wall happening. These guys are all friendly up there, so hopefully we can make it to them pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, from there we should be pretty good. Um, we're getting... Really, I'm getting kind of near the end of the uh, content which is in this game at the moment. Um, what I am thinking of doing is updating the game to the experimental version um, after I get my walls to next level and do all that stuff. So basically when I've reached the end of what's in this version of the game I'll just update it to the experimental version and um, we'll run with that I guess to see what we've got. Now another thing that I thought would be cool, I was just thinking about it while looking at these guys like say if they had like a smaller weapon like um, blend here does, she has two uh, if I check her inventory, she has two of these ninja blades um, it would be pretty cool if um, if they could you know, dual wield them which uh, I haven't seen happen yet, so it's probably not a feature um, but I, I reckon that would be pretty badass if I could get one of my characters to uh, dual, wield, dual wield a uh, a sword, you know? That it add a, a whole other area to combat. I mean, they have this second weapon slot, and I'm not really sure what it is used for at the moment. I, I couldn't really find anything. I had a look online. Uh, I couldn't really find much about it. So, I mean, if there's any of you watching who actually know what that second weapon slot is for, then, uh, apart from, you know, to spice up the character model a little bit, uh, let me know. I'd, I'd actually really like to know. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to head up through this town here, which we are about to arrive at, um, and then down into our base. Basically, once again, I will cut back if I have anything interesting to say, or when we kind of arrive uh, through the town. Well, I, really, there isn't really much point to showing you much of the travel, even when we do arrive at this town here. Uh, there really isn't much to show until we reach, like, Brink, or, you know, the the, the actual camp itself, so... Yeah, I'll cut back once again if I have anything inter interesting to say, or when we finally do reach uh, our outpost. Because trust me, you do not want to be sitting through uh, watching these guys walk across a desert, because honestly, not that interesting. But yes, anyway, I will see you guys in a second. And it looks like we're about to get in a fight. Um, this will be interesting. We do, of course, have the support of this other group here. You know, what, we're going to charge in. We're actually going to try and help them a bit if we can. They're waddling along with that sword. We're not going to make it in time. They're all going to be dead by the time we make it there. Oh. Auto save, maybe? There we go. So, yeah, our guys are getting in the fight. Helping out. Doing their share of the damage here. <laughs> blow for blow. I, I still do like, I still do really like the combat in this game. You know, kind of regardless of, of what people say, I do. I do really like the combat here. Oh, Lucy's hurt. Oh. God damn. Lucy, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to send him down to do some uh, first aid. How did that happen, doll? Let's see how the rest of uh, the rest of our group have fared after that. First aid in yourself. Lucy took some damage there. That's rather unfortunate. But actually what we're going to do, as per last time, we're going to set... Uh, I need her to walk over this way. 
and the rest of you are to follow her. And we'll continue with our march back home. Okay, so back at base, basically what I've just told this group here to do is I've told Nay here to just basically go straight back to base. I've um, gone to peace, you know, clicked her and then just done this. So she should just be heading straight back to base on the most direct route that they possibly can. Now, this group here, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? What they're going to do is they're going to jump in here. They're going to grab as many of these as they can possibly carry. And we're just going to do a supply run. Um, go and sell some of this stuff. Try and sell as much as this as we possibly can. Just to try and make some... Uh, just want to try and make some money out of this supply... Um, supplies that we just have sitting around not really doing much and who is our slowest member so here okay so you two two you two I want you to follow her and you need to make your way up into the town Cool, so that's that supply group heading off. Where's double? Am I getting her? She needs... What does she need? Um, first I'll get Wish to, to drop that off. There you go. And I am, of course, keeping an eye out for um, for our character uh, window down the bottom there. Uh, just to try and keep an eye out uh, if we are going to be attacked at all. So does go under shirt? I thought so. See what it looks like. Oh, cool! It actually, is just tape on the fists to increase combat skill. Apparently, that's pretty awesome. Uh, she can jump back on her crossbow. I might actually get him. Oh, does he already? He already has a shirt. Okay, that's all right. You can jump back on your training. Cool, and that should leave Zep and Patch here to guard. Awesome. Now, of course, when this group here gets back, there's going to be a little bit of an exchange of gear. Um, basically, because I don't want her with the uh, all the samurai armor, because that's pretty decent armor, and um, she doesn't need it. And I don't know Molly was part of the group that I sent off here, so here are our two supply groups. And of course, we are just waiting for them to get back to base. So once again, I will cut back. Probably the supply the supply group will probably reach town before this group reaches base. Uh, so it'll probably be when the uh, supply group reaches the town. Animals, um, which looks awesome. And also a couple of the patches coming out. Primarily, 